All right, welcome back. It is 11 o'clock straight up here in WFMZ. I'm 69 News Meteorologist Matt Roger. Get you caught up here as far as this storm. It is pretty impressive so far, although a little bit of tapering off is occurring in some spots as well. So we're going to watch this. 25 Mount Pocono, 28 degrees Scranton, Wilkes-Barre. Same thing for Stroudsburg and East Stroudsburg. We're in the upper 20s, so most of our Pocono counties, we continue to be in the upper 20s. Same thing, uh, basically, northern Northampton County near the Lehigh Tunnel. We are holding in the 20s for Redding and for Lehigh Le Le Valley. Lancaster, all of these spots were at 30 degrees. So everybody is below freezing, and because of that is certainly all frozen precipitation so far. Again, winter storm warnings for most of our region until later this evening. Winter weather advisory for Schuylkill, Chester, Bucksmont, Hunterdon, and Mercer counties. All of these expiring later this evening from the National Weather Service. Now here's the radar screen. Again, the algorithm a little bit off here, but you can tell that the further south you go toward Philadelphia, we've seen temperatures jump a little bit above freezing in at least some locations. So some plain rain, but most of us in the valley locations, we've seen sleet and some freezing rain further to the north, Poconos, Slate Belt area of Northampton County and parts of northern and central Warren County, Sussex County, New Jersey, near the Lehigh Tunnel as well, very higher elevations of Berks County. It's been snow for the most part, and some of the sleet and some of the snow has been coming down at a pretty good clip. Now we're watching a little bit of drier air. Looks like it's trying to punch on in, so things may taper off for a bit or just end for a little while before they pick back up here during the afternoon hours. So even though things look like they're tapering off just a little bit here, even back into parts of Berks County, I think they will pick up again as this little... Uh, dry slots say kind of moves on through but look at this some of the darker shades of blue very impressive here and because of this we are seeing a lot of accidents across the region so for more on that we will go upstairs to rick edwards who's been keeping an eye on all of our roadways hey there rick hey there matt hi everybody uh, we'll take a look at 78 here running by 222 in the allentown area very slow moving traffic as you can see uh, on all the major highways uh, through our region in the berks county down in the bucks montgomery and up in the poconos um, most especially. And I will take a look here at 22 as we get on at 33. Very low visibility. <clears throat> That's the way it looks into the eastern area as well. Now, we do clear it out as far as uh, the visibility goes north of Bethlehem, but traffic is moving slowly. Now, uh, road crews are out treating the highways, so you have to give them a little extra room. Here we have a, a real jam westbound on 22 past Shanersville Road and 378. No crashes reported on 78 or 22 uh, in our immediate vicinity. Now, we do have an accident in New Jersey just over the border, 80 westbound. Coming toward Pennsylvania near Mile 2 is a major crash with uh, heavy-duty delays on Interstate 80 in North Jersey uh, this afternoon or this morning. And the major crash uh, south of Portland is still working on North Delaware Drive. This is uh, at Potomac Street. They have that intersection closed and traffic being diverted around the area. Uh, again, 611 North Delaware Drive and Potomac Street south of Portland. A major crash in Upper Mount Bethel Township. Turnpike Northeast Extension. Uh, the crashes just keep coming in. We have fender menders all uh, along the whole stretch from the Poconos down to the Philadelphia area. Extra caution and extra time. That's what you need if you're going to get on uh, 476. Uh, we are heavy in both directions. 329. They're near Fornicary Drive by 145 Cementon Hill. They have that disabled tractor trailer. They just can't get it moved out of the way. They are still working in that area. Now, uh, we get into Berks County, where we're still working a major crash on 61 north of Leesport. This is Route 61 northbound at Mooresville Road. Doesn't matter the direction because the road is shut down there. 61 is closed between Bellman's Church Road and Birch Hill Road. So avoid that area. Very slow on the bypasses in and around Reading 222, 422 running very heavy or very slow. Uh, no accidents on 78 through Berks County. But again, slow moving traffic through the area. Now we have a tree down on uh, wires with a, a little wire fire there in Earl Township Fire Department responding to Powder Mill Hollow Road and Old Powder Mill Road with uh, the tree down there. So allow extra time, like we say, and you make the call on the unnecessary travel if you don't need to get out. You could just stay at home or stay in the office, have some coffee or perhaps a spot of tea, and we'll go to Matt and see how long this is going to be uh, around here. You didn't offer me any tea. No, no, come on up. All right. Thank you very much. Earl Gray.
Earl Gray, you got it. All right. <laughs> Rick, one to three inches here across most of our area. Again, no real changes as far as our thinking is concerned with these precipitation types. Now, some of you have really seen a thick coating of ice, and even for some places to the north, we've seen an inch or so of snow and even a little bit more. But I think for most locations in the viewing area at the lower elevations, Redding, Allentown, East, and Bethlehem, Peaberg, all of these places will fall within that one to three inch range of snow and sleet. And of course, some of us haven't seen any snow yet. Some of the models continue to suggest that it does get cold enough aloft where we will see some snow at some point this afternoon. So we'll wait and see if that does happen. Three to six inches further to the north again. That includes uh, near the Lehigh Tunnel and northward Slate Belt area into parts of Carbon Monroe into Warren and Sussex County. I think three to six is a good call. You have to go pretty far to the north to see anything more than that where it will mostly be snow. 33, mix of sleet, freezing rain, snow, heavy at times again. For a time here, precipitation may taper off or end until it picks back up during the afternoon if this drier slot continues to kind of affect the region. Mixed precipitation ends early tonight, otherwise mostly cloudy 28. Could be a little bit of freezing drizzle tonight as well, and obviously with any wet spots and temperatures falling below freezing, things could get a little bit slick once again during the evening and overnight period. We'll have another update here at 1130 in about 24.